Hello everybody, it's Kevin again and welcome back to another Woodland Camp and Craft video. In this short video it's going to be another review video and as you may well have noticed up to now I never review any piece of kit unless I've had it for at least 12 months out in the field and give it some good usage. So today we're going to be reviewing the DD Hammock Quilt. I got this at the Bushcraft Show 2015 so this is about 14 months into use now um, granted it's not been used all year through I use this from uh, up to anywhere from about April May just after Easter just after late spring all the way up to October last year and then it got put away while I had my operation and stuff like that so this gets a good six seven possibly eight months um, eight months uh, service in a year uh, with the DD under blanket is what I use um, and just by itself and then obviously in the colder months we go up, we upscale to um, the Arctic bag but the reason I was interested in in these was being a larger gentleman pulling the, the, the numerous sleeping bags I have had that I have broken the zips, side zips centre zips, shuffling around in the hammock, trying to pull uh, the sleeping bag hoods over my head etc. I've just gone through loads, I've, I've gone through uh, Gillettes, Van Goghs, uh, Go Outdoors own brands and I just keep pulling all the zips because uh, and it just made it hard work. So I actually seen Nick at DD um, at the Bushcraft Show 2015 um, he was a little bit concerned my size, not the size of my gut, the size of my height, that um, it, it might be a little bit too small. This, they recommend it up to 6'2", and I am 6'2". So, you know, he let me try it, measure it, um, and then sent me around to Woodland Ways to go and purchase a couple, because they don't actually sell the stock at the, uh, at the Bushcraft Show. Um, so anyone that's not seen these before, I'm sure most of you have, but anyone that hasn't this is just a hammock quilt so we have the foot end here so we're inside out there so there's a series of poppers at the bottom and a cinch cord so you can have it full out if you're in a tent sorry just ended up with a knot there somehow one second All goes wrong when the camera's on. Right, so there we are. So there we are, that's it out as a, a standalone quilt. So basically, a series of poppers, I think there's about six here, seven. No, there's eight. So you can pop all these up. And then cinch it, and this, you know, this is the foot box at the bottom. Put your feet in there in your hammock, and then you just bring this up, tuck it in into your under blanket, you know, and that's that's how I sleep with it. There's a couple of poppers at the top. And then if it, if it gets a bit colder, you can cinch it around your neck. I never use it like that. Um, as a comfort thing I always just use it as like a quilt um, it's ever so comfortable and um, they reckon it can go down to about zero or uh, I think it's two or minus two should have got my figures right uh, when used with an under blanket um, this has traveled all over the, the country with me all over the UK Scotland Devon uh, it's been down to Wales been over to Sweden and it's been everywhere with me and I love it. I absolutely love it for for the simple how easy it is to use in the hammock. Um, I've never had a cold night when I've used it. And like I say, it's been used for seven or eight months a year. Um, and I can't recommend them enough, really. Um, obviously, I uh, I am um, trying to find the logo there. 
I really do think this, as an innovative piece of kit, has made the biggest difference. To, apart from the, the actual hammock itself, when I first moved over from tent camping to hammock camping, when I stopped getting bad backs, dead arms, stiff necks, you actually get a good night's sleep. Um, it's a piece of kit that I've purchased. I mean, we can buy loads of pieces of kit because we like it, because it looks good, or someone's told us it looks it's all right. But it's made the biggest difference in my camping. I made it. I can only say it's made it more enjoyable. Um, no, you know, straight in, straight in your hammock, feet in, done. Um, it, it would come into its own in Sweden. You know, when you've been paddling for a good long hours, you know, you make the tea. You're absolutely knackered. You're all aching. And that's it, I just climbed in my bed and I was done. And sleep probably within 10 minutes. And that never really happens to me. Um, I don't fall asleep easy. So yeah, it really didn't make it really didn't make that much difference to my camping. You know. So I can't recommend it enough. Um, the only thing I'd possibly like to see, really, is for DD to maybe possibly try and get a winter one made. This is good for six, seven months a year. Um, but I would actually love it if the, you know, they doubled up the loft in inside, and we actually got a full winter um, quilt. So that's going to come on to Kev's rating now. And without a doubt, I'm not even going to think about it. First time ever in any rating that I've ever done, it's got to be top mark, ten out of ten. And that's how strongly and how happy. I am with the product um, and you know what a difference it has made to my camping you know sometimes when I'm in getting in the arctic bag or I was getting in the other hammocks I, I could sometimes put off going to bed because I just couldn't be arsed with pulling all that stuff and getting all <laughs> agitated with myself um, getting into the sleeping bag so that for me is I think I paid about somewhere around 45 to 50 pounds and it's one of the, it's the best fifty pound I've spent uh, on camping on pieces of kit that I can remember. Apart from when the transition, you know, I first transitioned over from tents into hammocks themselves. So, yeah, DD hammocks, ten out of ten. I'm not, I don't even have to think about it. Um, and yeah, great piece of kit. Thank you.